Kids with cerebral palsy are like any other kids. They like to laugh, play, swim, listen to music and thousands of other things. But, why do people have the thinking that kids with cerebral palsy or another disability don't have a normal life? Like I said many of times that cerebral palsy affects people. It might affect a person physically. Sometimes it affects a person's intellect, or it might affect their health. So, am I contradicting myself? I don't think I am and here is why. Majority of kids with cerebral palsy are smart, so they see other kids or talk to them. If the topic is about a new toy or a new Xbox game, the kid with CP will want the new toy or game. When I was growing up, I saw toys on TV, I wanted them. In the summer, I wanted to be outside where the other kids were. I loved going swimming even though my mom or dad had to hold me up in the water. My parents had to help me with most things. Kids with CP need help as well. I think that people don't realize that despite having cerebral palsy kids are kids. They like doing things with their dad or mom. My dad likes baseball. So, while growing up, we played baseball in the yard and saw the Chicago Cubs and the White Sox. My dad likes them both. Playing ball in the backyard was fun. We knew that I couldn't play on the team, and that was okay by me. I think that dads get disappointed when they hear that their child has cerebral palsy or another disability because their dreams of seeing their kid play sports disappear. Well, this is not exactly true. Why do I say this? There are many sports that your child can play. They can play boccia, floor hockey, soccer, horseback riding, and yes even baseball. I don't mean that recruiters will be at the games, but the games are fun though. If your child is not into sports, they might be into music. I mean listening to music or even playing music. The computers have opened the ability to make music on them. Since the computers are accessible to people with disabilities, they might learn how to record music. I tried once to make music, but it was not my cup of tea. Speaking about computers, your child can play games on the computers. I ran across a website a few years ago, which had games that were designed for kids with disabilities. There were no timers in the games. Although I didn't try the games, they look really fun. In conclusion, kids with cerebral palsy want the same opportunities as the next kid. Yes, kids with CP have different physical abilities or intellectual abilities, but why couldn't they have the same opportunity to be regular kids? My parents tried to give me a normal life as possible. I am not saying that it is easy. Nothing is easy with a child with cerebral palsy. What I am trying to say is that your child deserves to be treated as another child despite what their ability is. If my parents only listened to what the doctors said, I surely would not be doing what I am doing today. Again, your child needs all the opportunities that you can give them.